Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I thought I'd finally talk about Webtoon. Now Webtoon is this fantastic app in which you can go through and read lots of indie series created by fantastic indie creators that are out there. I'm not sponsored for this video, I just really love this app because I just love reading comics. As you can see I read a lot of different series but I'm going to talk about five of my favourite series that I can recommend to you all. Um, these series in inspire me to draw, they inspire me for story making and they have a lot of different things about them and if you read anything on webtoon comment down below on what you recommend. But first up is Cursed Princess Club. I absolutely and utterly adore this series. Uh, the art is extra cute and the storyline is just oh, it, 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 I can't stop reading. I am so excited for the next instalment. Um, but uh, this is created by a author called Lamcat, uh, who is also Lamcat, uh, I am Lamcat on Twitter. And their uh, summary of the story says, meet Gwendolyn, living proof that princesses don't always have it all. See, although she lives in a castle and her father is the king, Gwendolyn isn't like movie princess or even a fairy tale princess. She's got a big heart but isn't particularly attractive and doesn't have a Disney quality singing voice. But one night she accidentally stumbles upon the twisted world of the Cursed Princess Club and her life will never be the same. Hexed and cast out, the ladies of the club are just the people Gwendolyn needs to show her that she doesn't need to fit the mould and that does not mean that she's any less of a princess. I fell in love with this series a while ago um, and each time it updates I am just so excited to read on more and see exactly what uh, the next instalment is and I absolutely adore Gwendolyn who is who I'm drawing here. Um, it's such a well-written series. I'm very excited for the next installments. I want to find out more about Gwendolyn, Gwendolyn's past and uh, find out more about the other cursed princesses in this club. It is just such a delightful, really heartwarming story and if you ever want a good smile I highly recommend this series. Um, all these series I highly recommend for different reasons but a lot of the ones that I am recommending here today are either romance style novels or they are you know a little bit warmer in tone. Uh, there is some horror ones that I can recommend but I can do that in a different video if you want me to. Um, but I really really enjoy this series. Uh, the character designs are absolutely wonderful to see and the artist and the author behind it just it just it it really gets me and I just really enjoy this series. So this is my fan art of Gwendolyn from the series Cursed Princess Club. Now next up is possibly one of the most popular series on the platform but I cannot get enough of this series. Um, this is of course Laura Olympus written by Rachel Smith um, who is a amazing talented artist and author. The colours used in this series just it's what me drew, drew me to this series in the first place. Now the summary of this basically says witness what the gods do after dark. The friend and the lies, the gossip and wild parties and of course forbidden love because as it turns out the gods aren't so different from all of us especially when it comes to their problems. Stylish and immersive this is one of mythology's greatest stories, the taking of Persephone as it's never been told before. Now this is complete reimagining of the uh, series uh, of the story of Persephone and it's possibly one of my favourite all-time favourite reimaginings of the story of Hades and Persephone. Um, I have talked about this series before and I have sung its praises plenty of times again and again. It does deal with some sensitive issues, um, so be warned when you are reading. It is very much a uh, adult comic. Um, not an adult comic as they're in there's a wink wink nudge nudge. Um, it's more to do with the themes that it deals with, but it is such a beautiful series. The use of colour and direction in this is just so inspiring to look at and 
the artist um, who also goes by the used and made uh, on Twitter is just such a talent and I am very excited that season two has just started up. I recommend this series to so many people. Even if you don't enjoy the story, the art alone and the use of colour is just so phenomenal. It is worth it checking it out so this is my fan art of Hades and Persephone I'm not entirely happy with it but I really like the colors that I used I really want to get practicing and drawing more but these are quite small they are postcard size and I just really wanted to do some like cute little fan art to show off my favorite series so this is Hades and Persephone the main um protagonists in the stories and next up we're going to talk about another series called The Wrath and the Dawn which is actually based on a uh, novel uh, by the same title, The Wrath and the Dawn, um, which uh, basically the summary is, Khalid the Caliph takes a new bride each night only to have her executed at sunrise. So it is a suspicious surprise when uh, Shahz... I am so sorry that I'm going to butcher these names. Uh, when Shahz Rad, uh, please correct me down in the comments down below, volunteers to marry Khalid. However... She has a clever plan, not only to stay alive, but to end the murderous king's reign of terror once and for all. And this is a, originally by, uh, the story is originally by a creator, Rene Adaye. I am so sorry I'm butchering names here. Um who wrote the series Raph and the Dawn, which is a reimagining of the 1001 Nights, um, which is a very, very old story, which is what um, Aladdin originally based itself on. Um, the artist is Sil... Um, oh my gosh, read that. Uh, Sylvester Vitale. Uh, Vitale uh, um, and it's... I'm sorry for butchering names. I am terrible with pronunciation of words. Um, it is such a beautifully done series. Yet again, I'm going to go to talk about the use of colour. Um, the thing that really drew me to this was the opening sequence of all these beautiful rich tones being put together and then the story is so inviting and you read it and the dangers that this person is put in and the risks that she takes it is a very gripping tale and every time it updates i get so excited in fact i have a chapter to read tonight <laughs> which i'm very excited for um it is honestly a really fantastic series um it does deal with some yet again some sensitive uh, material um it is more based for young adults and um, so please beware when you are reading this but honestly beautiful series highly recommend it now another one that i'm going to talk about is a series called the witch and the bull um this is an absolutely beautiful series uh, by an artist called moon asia um it is just so beautifully done and the first thing that actually drew me to this series really was the art and the summary that they have here is tan's job as the king's royal advisor has nothing to do with his hatred of witches but it does make him a prime target for the curse that turns him into a bull the only way to undo this hex is to rely on the beautiful witch Aro. Can her kindness turn his feelings around and break this spell? Honestly, the art in this alone just is mind blowing. But the story, I, I am gripped every time I read a chapter of this, and the beautiful um, art, which just it it. The art alone captures you and then the story pulls you in even more each chapter. Um, the, it's, it's, I can't sing its praises enough just because it is a beautifully done series. And every time I read it, I want to understand more about the um, inspirations behind it. And it makes me excited more for the next chapter. And this is what every single one of these series have done. They make me want to read the next chapter. They make me want to dive more into the stories and understand more about these characters. And each one of them has fantastic storytelling in their own right and this one in particular just has such a compelling um 
movement behind it that you want to find out like who did this curse like why why did this happen to this person in particular and you just want to find out so much more from reading the series and plus it's all got zodiac stuff in it and i am a sucker for anything with zodiacs and witches and um of course was immediately pulled to this story <laughs> the second i was like "Ooh, shiny shiny witches it just it's a very beautifully done story one thing I've genuinely enjoyed about reading all this stuff up on Webtoons is that you feel like you are supporting the creator because if you want to read uh, the next chapter um, ahead of schedule, you can pay coins for them, which helps support the creator up on the platform. Other ways that you can support a creator when it comes to reading these is by checking out their personal pages as well, which they have all linked in the stories. Um, I really enjoy reading comics. I It's one of my favourite things to do and the thing that I enjoy about using this app in particular is there is always something new to read. There's always something new to talk about. And speaking of talking about, I'm going to go to the last one that I will recommend on this video, which is the series Muted. Honestly, if the art alone did not speak for itself, the story in this is just so beautifully done it does deal with some sensitive materials yet again but honestly it is so compelling each chapter that i just genuinely cannot stop reading so the summary of this says on the full moon of her 21st year the young witch camille severin is expected to perform the traditional ritual to summon forth a winged demon for her family's success and prosperity but when the ritual goes wrong it reveals the terrifying truths about herself and the secrets that threaten to tear her family apart now this is by an a creator called miranda munt i really hope i pronounced your name correctly i do apologize if not um but this Honestly, it's such a dark, wonderfully done series. The art is so beautiful that each chapter you cannot wait to find out more. And um, I'm currently um, on to episode 58, which I'm going to read after this because um, there was a load of updates last night. Um, I honestly... I'm in love with the design that's behind this and the use of colour. The one thing that I always find after I've read a webtoon series is how much I want to draw. And I use apps like Tapas, Webtoon, um, because it supports the creator as well as um, you get to read a phenomenal story um, that's out there. And every single one of these that I have um, talked about in this video I can highly recommend to anyone as a perfect example of storytelling beautiful art or combined I highly recommend these series and so much more there's so many more that I could mention that aren't even in this video um like Spellbound, uh, Lord Have Mercy, that one is amazing, uh, Swimming Lessons for a Mermaid, Let's Play, uh, Ava's Demon, Tales of Terrible Things, uh, The Kiss Bet, Freaking Romance, Castle Swimmer, Your Throne, uh, Midnight Poppyland is amazing, just Brimstone and Roses, Scorching Romance, My Deepest Secret, there is hundreds of series that you can watch, uh, that you can read, that I can highly recommend to you and i would want you to recommend series to me um this app is fantastic i like i said it's really not sponsored i just genuinely really love reading comics and it's such a fantastic way to support creators um and i think it's a really nice way because you get to read something amazing now speaking of amazing here is some of your beautiful beautiful work that you have tagged me in up on instagram and on twitter i cannot thank you enough for tagging uh, me and your beautiful work i really would love to share you each week if you want a little bit more interaction there is always a discord which is linked down below where we do art challenges every single day hope you all have a wonderful week I'll see you in next week's video and as always folks stay creative